Uh, all right, so I, I can't believe I'm about to make a serious update about uh, digital corn. And like I said, I'm going to upload this to YouTube later to clear things up for everyone. So chat, behave yourselves. You'll be on TV. <laughs> so before we start, uh, let me be super clear about this for all of you. I will not be naming anyone specifically in this explanation. And even if you know who I'm talking about somehow, don't you don't name them either. I, I'm asking you this seriously. I'm not joking. I don't want anybody to get harassed about this, so no names. That goes for you too, future YouTube comment section. I know you can hear me. <laughs> I'll, I will turn off the comments if I have to. Uh, so, a lot of people have been asking me uh, questions. They noticed recently that Cobb Champ has been removed from all of my social media, including Twitch, within the last week or so. I'm going to make this... As simple as I can, because it's it's a, it's a simple situation. There's no petty internet drama here. I know some of you were worried that there was something weird going on or some legal thing. It's it's nothing like that. Uh, I was messaged very politely, might I add, by an account who was using the Cobb Champ emo long before we were, and they asked if I would be willing to remove the emo, which is completely understandable. I removed it immediately. If it was like, I don't know, a, a Discord emote or something, whatever, it's, it's a sprite from Battle Network 6, who cares? But, considering that this person is using it as a sub-emote, meaning money is potentially involved, I personally would feel really fucking scummy if I was making money with it too. So that's, uh, I, I wouldn't feel right if I didn't remove it. Uh, I wouldn't have added it at all had I known someone was using it on Twitch before. Uh, as you might know, despite all my videos, I have no connection or knowledge of the larger Battle Network community at all, so I was not even aware of the existence of this other channel until they reached out to me. Uh, you know I'm sort of quiet and, and shy and isolated despite making a living on the internet, uh, so my interaction with other community members is almost non-existent. <laughs> so what happened, let me just explain. Uh, I opened up an emote suggestion box back when we were opening up the Twitch channel. Somebody on Discord suggested Cobb Champ. I added it when we started off, and in the most baffling turn of events I've ever seen, it somehow went on to become a huge part of the, the channel. <laughs> so, uh, let me be clear that I know I made a mistake, but I also assure you it was entirely accidental. I never intended to steal or copy anything and the other the other channel i talked to them they were very receptive and understanding of that fact when i explained the situation to them that it was just a coincidence i wasn't purposefully yoinking anything from them it's all good uh they even decided to be a total fucking chad and offered their support or like a plug in the future so uh i taught uh, where does that leave us now i guess uh, sure, yeah, I removed the emote, but you'll also notice I also removed the channel and Patreon art, which were original drawings, and the channel who messaged me didn't even mention any of that stuff, just the one specific emote. Uh, I decided to remove them on my own because I talked to a few other people, and the KNI Research and Development Division and I decided to turn this into a positive and use this as an opportunity to create our own buttery mascot from the ground up. Uh, we are currently still in the design phase, but rest assured, the power of the kernel remains strong within us. Oh, right, right, right. I want to talk about the VODs. Okay, so last up, I want to mention how this affects the stream VODs. Like I said before, uh, the original Cop Champ design was kind of a huge part of the streams. I had a damn VTuber of it, for Christ's sakes, which makes it kind of impossible to remove from the video archives. I'd, I'd have to remove chat cover up the PNG tuber, delete entire chunks of the screen in some cases, and cut out large portions of my voice, and that, that isn't feasible. It would be an unwatchable disaster. So, any future archives with their stream date listed before about June 14th will likely still contain the original design, but, like, be aware that's not out of, like, spite or anything like that. Uh, it's merely for archival purposes to preserve the wonderful times we've had as a community and i am sure the uh, original creator of the emote would understand that i i don't think we're gonna have any problem there yeah the end idea is to just like 
fuse all the the best ideas from all the submissions and the stuff that and uh, my ideas as well. I don't know. They might not want Kamchi episodes associated with Yeek. 